Um, all right, I just want to hear her lie a little bit more. I'll have this drink. We're having a fun day. That's Bring it. Exactly right. <laughs> and the That's bottom right. line is that anybody in this country Cheers. that lives in black skin experiences racism yeah. and the black experience no, they in don't. this country. No. Right? Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I want to talk about policies. Okay, good. Um, I do too. Yeah. Okay, they're there. Stupid bitches. I'm telling you, none of these people are as good as me. Are we sure the stream's okay? It keeps freezing for me. That's okay. Uh, whiskey should be sipped, never taken a shot. Oh, okay. Why don't you start a podcast? Tell everybody about your cool rules. We're coming out with some new shot glasses for everybody. Whiskey should be sipped. What a gentleman. Let me tell you something. Let me break something to you. Gentlemen, don't listen to Red Bar. <laughs> the guy in short shorts with maracas. Okay? <laughs> Mr. Uh, uh, wood Paneled Library. Does this, does this look like someone who follows the fucking rules? <laughs> Whiskey should be sipped, oh yeah? Sip it out of my pee hole. We don't do that around here. Oh, whiskey should be sipped, oh yeah. Where did you learn that? Steven Crowder? Please. Whiskey should be sipped. Oh, what a gentleman. Uh. I think I made my point very clear. Okay, we're going to move on here today. Uh, let's see, what do I got next? Oh, yeah, Trump's Little Summit. Trump's Little Summit was very fun. He invited Tim Pool. He invited Piranha, a couple of my boys there. And uh, he said some good stuff. I pulled two uh, clips for you here today. He's going to be going after. He's fighting for people like us. You know, this is why it's exciting. We have a guy in the White House right now who, in theory, loves Red Bar in theory, will allow us to uh, operate. You know, uh, I look at these uh, four congresswomen that he tweeted about. You know, did you see this? Uh, these women here today. He, he tweeted this here. I'll just catch everybody up to speed. Everybody knows this. This is so interesting to see progressive Democrat congresswomen who originally came from countries whose government governments are complete and total catastrophes. The worst. <laughs> Most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they even have a functioning government at all. Now loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. Why don't they go back and fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Then come back and show us how it's done. These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough. Uh, I'm sure that Nancy Pelosi would be very happy to quickly work out free travel arrangements. How funny. <laughs> she basically Christ. told these women, here are the women, the squad. Here, I'll show you them. I encourage. Look at these women. The American. He told them, these are the four ladies. So you've got black, weirdo, tan and tan. He said, go back to your countries, fix it first, then come back here and tell us what to do. And I, uh, only one of them is from another country, so the America's outraged, right? You've heard this. Isn't this everyone's heard this, right? Yeah. This is everywhere. They said, it's official. Trump is racist. He hates these people. I actually don't look at it that way. This is a country thing. I think if Hillary Clinton was from Ireland and she was telling us all what to do here, he would have said the same thing to a white person from Ireland. Well, go back to your country and fix it. I don't think that has anything to do with racism. It has to do with you're coming well, over here. they're saying it's racism because they are from America, remember? But this would be <laughs> like if Alex Gross from Vox <laughs> Trash Radio came over here and said and told me how to fix my podcast while his podcast is basically just me, but worse. I'd go, why don't you go over to your own podcast and fix it? I wouldn't even say that because I'm not, you know, I would never put myself in such a position, but... Um, you know, can't we look at it like that? Now, yeah, it just so happens they're not from other countries, but who could tell these days? <laughs> when I see these people right here, Ooga Booga is wearing a fucking head wrap. You're from America? Where? Because I don't remember a state that uh, issues out head wraps. You know, I go along with this. I don't want to be walking around in Ooga Booga territory. You ever seen my neighborhood? It's insane. These people, they don't, they're not welcoming. I go up to a Pakistani guy. I go, hey, do you have the time? Before I know it, I hear, tick, tick. I go, run! And everything blows up. Wow. 
Um, they got detonators. They got time bombs. I don't want to be time bombed. Okay? Unless it's a, a rancid song. Uh, so, yes, you see these people. Imagine you're Trump, and every day you got some... You know, this is... By the way, I'm just playing devil to have a kid here. I'm just playing devil. <laughs> Let's just go with that. I'm just playing devil here. Imagine every day you're Donald Trump. You're trying to save the country. You realize immigration is our biggest problem because of the Uga Boogas. And then you've got four Uga Boogas that somehow slimed their way into the American government and they're telling everybody what to do and you're going, oh, get these people out of here. Imagine that. Now, whether you like it or not, go down to any state outside of the big three cities and this is what regular people are saying every day. They hate this shit. They hate these women. Okay. They hate their hair. They hate all of it. Okay, and they don't hate it because they're racist. They hate it because, come on, you don't want that every day. You know, it's like if every day, if you went to school, imagine every day you go to school and instead of uh, pizza or hamburgers or hot dogs for lunch, they're like, sorry, uh, you know, we're only eating uh, this weird fucking Indian slop cuisine. You would go, come on, guys, eat it in India. I don't want it here. Okay, this is lunch. I'm not going to take a big shit here. In school this is disgusting so uh you know some people do want that and again imagine somebody having the nerve to go to pakistan and pull this imagine what would happen would pakistan let a white person be their president would any country let somebody from another country start coming in and making it let's stop Let's make this country only one. <laughs> oh my god. I do not agree with any of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't, you can't. It's the land of the free, right? <laughs> but I don't know. People are getting, you know, it's getting a little murky here. So these are the Jesus four. So Christ. watch what he says. Here, this is funny stuff. But this is real. <laughs> Listen, this is what real people are thinking. Real people are actually thinking this, and it's not necessarily racism. It's just ugh, come on. You know, this woman looks like a snake wrangler. You know, and they're not, I don't feel a sense of that they're on my side about anything. No, that's Even though sure. I am nice and open, but they don't like me. They're not here for my uh, prerogative. They're not here for me. These women would have me uh, arrested. The minute they got in office, they'd have me arrested. Let me show you this video of Trump. This is his response this morning. Or the other day. Well, I don't mention, I didn't mention names, and uh, I didn't do that, but I will tell you, with our country, and I think everybody in this audience, <laughs> these are great manufacturers, great workers in our audience, too. They brought a lot of their workers here. Uh, if you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, wow. if you hate our country, if you're they not clap. happy here, you can leave. See, and that's I, what I... That's kind of, you know what, no one would say this because they don't want to be labeled racist. But it kind of is like, you know, shut the fuck up. Eventually, you should just say, shut the fuck up. Then get out of here. Okay? You know? Uh, now, is it, uh, you know, would that be terrible if you were one of the, Imagine if you were a person exactly. of color and you heard the president saying, <laughs> this would be like if Anthony Cumia was the president here and he was making deep discount DVD mandatory. We'd go nuts. So you got to look at it that way, too. Imagine you're one of them. Thank God we're not. We were born with the privilege. We were born. But that is our privilege. We should have this privilege to maintain our pri privilege. I want to maintain my privilege. <laughs> and again, I don't have the nerve to go to Bangladesh and start demanding rights from it. I would never do that. When I go to Bangladesh, I go, oh, thank you so much for having me. And I'm wearing a kimono. Okay? And I'm participating in their culture. I don't come in and go, what the fuck are you doing? Sit up! You don't eat on the ground! Come on, we're making barbecue here! Where's the brisket? No. <laughs> I go to Bangladesh, I go, oh, thank you for having me. I'm wearing a kimono, I'm bowing, I'm sitting on the, the ground eating on a, on a cushion. I respect their culture. I don't go in there and go, what the hell, what about me? Where are the hot dogs? Where are the burgers? No, I go, I'm in Bangladesh. And if I don't want Bangladesh vibes, I don't go there. 
So every place should have their own. Listen, it's not racist. It's we should. Every restaurant shouldn't be everything. You go to restaurants, they're segregated, right? You have an Asian restaurant. You have an American place. You have Thai food. You have choices. Countries should be choices. That doesn't mean it's racist. You're welcome to come visit. You're welcome to come hang. But when you start coming in and you want to make it all, you know, what are we supposed to do? So this is a white nationalist I'm telling you, show now. Listen, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is what they want. In 2020, we're going to have desks. Instead of desks in school, it's going to have a little Korean barbecue in every desk. They're going to be frying up kebabs and stuff. Sounds cool. That actually sounds nice. <laughs> but I don't want teriyaki sauce and everything, okay? This is a 4th of July type of place. Here we go. I say all the time. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. A lot of people love it, by the way. <laughs> a lot of, a people, lot of love, people love it. A lot of people. But if you're not happy. See that? Listen to that. Because I did a tweet. It's controversial, apparently. A lot of people love it, though. So that is really sticking up for something you believe. I've never heard anything like this. He goes, a lot of people love it, by the way. A lot of people love it. And you know what? That's unfortunately the sad truth maybe it's sad to you but that is the sad truth a lot of people do love it you should meet my parents neighbors they love it they love that he's saying this so we lose that when you're in los angeles new york or wherever portland you lose that you think oh no no everybody this is crazy it's not though this is what the people who live here want and you can't just keep telling them that they what they want doesn't matter ever they're getting mad, okay? That's what I say all the time. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. A lot of people love it, by the way. A lot of people love it. <laughs> this is crazy. But if you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can wow. leave right now. Wow. Come back if you want. Don't Kombucha. come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Holy smokes. Now, Kumail Nanjiani heard about this this morning. He is busted up, folks. You want to hear what Kumail says? Look at this. I've heard go back to your country many, many times. Most recently was about a month and a half ago in L.A. It hurts my feelings every time. Woo! Wow. Imagine being a foreign fuck in this climate. Would that suck. would suck. It would suck. But guess what? Everything sucks. You know what sucks? It sucks. You know, sometimes it sucks for me. Sometimes it sucks for you. Again, I go to Pakistan. It's going to fucking suck for me. But I guess they're not promoting it as home of the brave, land of the free. So I wouldn't go there. Okay? This is all just common sense stuff. Stop coming here if you don't want to be hated. So what do you do if you're born here? As uh, an immigrant? Yeah. You go back to Bangladesh as soon as you're 18. Wow. You go find your father. Here. President Trump. <laughs> this is crazy, though. Did you ever think we'd see anything like this? This is wild. I did not. This is very funny stuff. <laughs> very, very funny. You want to make America white again. Is that true? Well, that's just a very racist statement. Somebody that would say that. <laughs> wow. So. Speaker Pelosi said, make America white again. Said, that's what Let me tell you, that's a that very true, racist... Sir? That's a very racist statement. I'm surprised she'd say that. John, go ahead. This is great. Did you see what he just did there? What did he do? The, in the interviewer was like, Nancy Pelosi says that you want to make America white again. He was like, why would she say that? That's so racist. Yeah, that's Acting amazing. Like she said it. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> this is really crazy. He's really gearing up for this. That's why I said... You know, I'm not a Politicano guy. I see a lot of you getting trapped in this stuff. This is fun. This is just downright fun. You got to learn how to have fun. Don't get tied in. We're on the outside. We're looking in. I see no collars. What do they say? Just watch. Just watch. You don't have to be involved. You don't have to fight your best friend over it. Just go, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Good stuff. It's funny. Here. Well, they're very unhappy. I'm watching them. All they do is complain. So all I'm saying is wow. if they want to leave, they can leave, John. They can leave. I mean, I look at the one. I look at Omar. I don't know. I never met her. This is really. I even watched the rest of this. They can leave. Just leave. And somebody goes, but where should they go? Because I look at Omar. I look at the one. This is how my grandma would talk about Whoopi Goldberg. I look at the one. She's got bugs coming out of her hair. 
Yeah, I think that's why I like him. He reminds me of my grandma. This is how my grandma would talk. Trump is a god. 2020 is going to be lit, they're saying in the chat. Uh, problem is, nobody else thinks this is funny. That says Taylor Trump. I can't help it. I can't help what they think is funny. They're stupid. The one. Ha ha ha. I'm going to hear more. I hear the way she talks about Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda has killed many Americans. Yeah. She said you can hold your chest out. You can. When I think of America, huh? When I think of Al-Qaeda, I can hold my chest out. Wow. When she talked about the World Trade Center being knocked down, some people. You remember the famous some people. Uh, these are people that, in my opinion, hate our country. Now, you can say what you want, but get a list of all of the statements they've made. And all I'm saying that if they're not happy here, they can leave. They can leave. And you know what? I'm, I'm sure that there'll be many people that won't miss them. But they're American. Oh, my God. And you know what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I know what I said is crazy. They can leave. Hold on. There'll be many people that won't miss them. Oh, yeah. It's like, no, that's not going to make it better. I met, they're screaming. The, the press is going, are you crazy? You know? They have to love, they have to love our country, their Congress people, and I never used any names. Are you but okay these are people, people quiet, 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 Mr. President? quiet. Are you wow, quiet. Your tweets are racist, sir. Quiet. That's unbelievable. But sir, quiet. Shut up. This is really nuts. These are people that if they don't like it here, they can leave. And I'd be, I'd, I don't know who's going to miss them, but I guess some people will. One of them is polling. One of them is polling at eight. I don't know who's going to miss them. You got to hear this, Jules. She was busy I'm doing something to my coffee. coffee. Oh, it up. God. It, it could heat up here. You want it heated up here? You pour it in a cup. You give it to me. I want you back in three seconds. I'm on the outside. I'm looking in. You got to hear this. That's why, because this is so good. We didn't see this tape. This is so good. Did he put his own reverb in? No. Uh, this is really good. Wait till you hear this. Okay, I'm back. So look at this, because we didn't see all this. Here, I'm going to back it up. This is really good. They have to love, they have to love our country. They're yeah, Congress perfect, thank people. You. And I never used any names. But these okay are people, people quiet, 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 Mr. President? quiet, are you okay with quiet, 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 I feel comfortable. Listen, I know I wouldn't feel comfortable. Again, it would be like, uh, who's our biggest enemy? I mean, Crystalia. Crystalia. Was reminding me of this. Imagine the other day. if Crystalia was the president and everything he said, we were like, ah! So that would <laughs> suck. However, this is what I said the other day. I'm not pro Trump, but I was born with a gene that is not bothered by this type of man. This is how my family acts. This type of person, I get a kick out of. I get a kick out of this behavior. So even when he does stuff that's terrible, I can look at it and go, wow, that's terrible. If you're on the receiving end of it. But it's not terrible to me. So I don't have enough empathy or sympathy for somebody on the receiving end for it to take over my thing. I don't give a fuck about the other people. I hate the other people, in fact, because they hate me. And they're shitheads. But I hate most people. So when I see them doing this, I go, doesn't bother me. Funny to me. And I'm the one, I said this uh, last week, I go, it's a gift. We're living a gift. If you're like me, if you're in the chat, you're like me. We've got a gift that we're not bothered by Trump. It's a blessing that we're not bothered by him. You don't have to be pro-Trump. But to not be bothered by him is a blessing. So when I see behavior like this, I go, I'm safe. Ain't nobody going to pay attention to me with that guy in there. But you get the other people in there, the cop or the woman with the turban. Uh-oh, I now I feel like the minority. Now, why should I feel like somebody who's paying zero taxes? I'm paying 30 grand a year! So, uh, I like it. I happen to like it right now. But I also liked it when Obama was in office. I didn't feel threatened at all. I would feel threatened if 
uh, AOC was in office, the president, I would feel very unsafe. Yeah. So that's how I'd feel. But I just happen to be this guy, and, and yeah, I don't care. I don't care that Kumal Nanjiani, one of the worst guys I know, is shaking and living in fear. Okay? You're a phony baloney nonsense guy. And all the cool Mexicans I know and all the cool blacks I know, they don't even care about this shit. That They're partying. true. Kanye don't care. Kanye party. Kanye's on my side. He black, nigga. I've met a lot of Uber drivers around here who love they Trump. They all love it because they know this is the common sense way to think, even if it degrades some of their people. They know their people are <laughs> what he's saying. They do. So, yeah, like a common sense person sees this and goes, I know, yeah, that's very hurtful, very scary, but uh, if they don't like it, you know, stop being such a bitch. So I like it. I think it's funny. These are people that if they don't like it here, Listen, they can leave. And I'd be, I'd, I don't know who's going to miss them, but I guess some people will. One of them is polling, one of them is polling at eight, one of them is polling at eight percent. And you can't, what's so great about it, I could play this on my show, it's still mainstream. This is the president, sorry. It's not like I'm playing some underground racist clips. You know what I mean? This isn't even considered icky. I'm, this is what the mainstream is doing too. You're allowed to agree with this guy because 50% of the country does. So it's not even that bad. One of them is polling at 8%. So when, when I hear people speaking about how wonderful Al-Qaeda is, when I hear people talking about some people, some people with the World Trade Center, some people, no, not some people. Wonderful Al-Qaeda. Much more than some people. <laughs> yeah, watch. <laughs> when I hear the statements that they say, when I hear these people go, how wonderful Al-Qaeda is. Who has said that? They've said it. I've said it. <laughs> I've said it. What's wrong with ISIS? I even said that in one of my songs. What's the problem with ISIS? They're nice. <laughs> ISIS, nice. I like uh, ISIS. God damn it, this shirt. Swing an ape shirt today. Thank you to Harley again, and I nice hope he's pit hair. I have pit hair. I love your body hair. Thank you. Here, let's, let's and in wrap one this up. case, you have somebody that comes from Somalia, which is a failed government, a failed state, who left Somalia, who ultimately came here, and now is a congresswoman who's never happy. Says never. horrible things about Israel, hates Israel, hates Jews, hates Jews. Wow, yeah. it's very simple. <laughs> And if the Democrats want to wrap their bows oh. around this group of four people. Wow. One of them kept Amazon out of New York. Tens of thousands of jobs. Would have been a great thing. And she kept Amazon from going. Would have been a good deal. I mean, could he have made better? Maybe. But <laughs> tens of thousands of jobs. And New York has not been the same since that happened. It's really hurt New York and New York City. Amazon was going to go. They were going to relocate a major section of their business in New York. She kept them out. That was a terrible thing she did. A terrible te thing she did. So here's the story. Here's the story. I see them complaining. They're complaining constantly. I watched Lindsey Graham today on Fox and Friends talking about uh, the same farther. subject. And frankly, uh, even stronger than what I'm saying. He, he said, said they're he communists. I'm saying, I'm saying that they're socialists, definitely. As to whether or not they're communists, I would think they might be, but this isn't what our country is about. Nevertheless, they're... Okay. Very good. Very, very funny. If you're just tuning in, please rewind back to the beginning. Stop everything. Go back. Listen to the beginning. The beginning was better than what you're going to hear here. And he had a couple more tweets this morning where he was like, this is not racist. Yeah. So I want to show you the squad. Here they are. Look at these sorry sex. Now, who would you rather watch? Sorry. I And again, if I was Indian, if I was black, I... Probably like them. I don't know. But I'm not. So I like the guy that's way more like me. So here they are. Look at this. Look at these women. This is their response today. And they even put this music in. The squad responds to Trump. Here they are. I encourage the American people and all of us in this room and beyond to not take the bait. This is a disruptive, disruptive... Okay, so now I'm in traffic court here with these three? Four? <laughs> That's how I feel. Trump's putting on a party. He's putting on a show. He's making things fun. He's doing jokes. They're like, Your Honor, I sentence everyone to jail. Look at this. Would you rather be in this? The People's Court here. ...from the issues of care... 
concern and consequence to the American people, despite the occupant of the White House attempts to marginalize us and to silence us. Please know what is this that we music? are more than four people. That's their favorite song. We ran on a mandate to advocate for and to represent those ignored, left out, and left behind. Our squad is big. So wow. it makes it sound like she's Our freestyling squ- a rap yeah. on Sway in the morning. Our squad is big. <laughs> Even Kanye doesn't like this. That includes any person committed to building a more equitable and just world. And that is the work that we want to get back to. No. And given the size of this squad and this great nation, we cannot, we will not be silenced. He's launching a blatantly racist attack on four duly elected members of the United States of Watch Ho- under the head wrap. <laughs> Hi, miss. I want to be in there. Hi, miss. Am I allowed to? First of all, hi. Thank you for letting me into the court. Am I allowed to wear this uh, necklace? Okay. Second question. What's under the wrap? Sorry. (laughs) Can you ask that to her in a press conference? What the fuck's under there? Sorry, that's not what we wear in America. I Again, if I went to Pakistan and wore this outfit and tried to run for Congress. They would love it. No, they wouldn't. They would beat the living shit out of me with sticks. Okay. I wouldn't have the nerve to go to Pakistan dressed like uh, a goddamn Abercrombie model here today. <laughs> Look at these shorts. Here, I'm in a wheelchair. Look at these shorts. What if you'd been in a wheelchair for years and no one even knew? So I go to Pakistan. I'm wearing this. I go, hi, I'm running for Congress. What do you think? They'd be like, lock him up in our cellars. Kill him dead. They'd kill me, probably. You actually got elected. You're actually looking like this in our Congress. You should be going, wow, this country is really something else. This is a great place. But no, you want it all. Cash, money, gold. House of Representatives, all of whom are women of color. This is the agenda of white nationalists. What? Whether it is happening in chat rooms or it's happening wow. on what? national TV. Our chat. And now Our chat it's is a white nationalist chat. The White House Garden. It's I have- called the White House, not the Turban House. Okay? <laughs> oh not God. House of Cabal. Okay? This isn't the Halal House down the street that serves kebabs. All right? The White House. Now, I understand you got a white turban. doesn't count. All right, there they are. The Four Horsemen. Here. Don't you want to see AOC? Oh, yeah, she's coming up. AOC ahead, is hot, man. Skip ahead. I know. I really she's want to. She's on fire. She's really something else. Okay, AOC. Let's see. Here she is. All right. In us responding to Tandori that, House, yeah. Defending ourselves. So the first note that I want to tell children across this country is that no matter what the president... Every time she comes on the screen, I go, is this a Netflix show I'm watching? Oh, no, it's not. It's it's the news. Okay. It says, this country belongs to you. No. And it belongs to everyone. Nope. And today, I mean, I don't know. that notion, that very notion was challenged. This weekend, that very notion was challenged. I am not surprised at what he's doing. But I also know that we're focused on making it better. Make America because we great. we don't leave the things that we love. And when we love this country, what that means is that we propose the solutions to fix it. We love all people in okay. this Well, we don't, okay? We don't like you because of your race. No, you know what? We don't like him because <laughs> of your how you're, you're acting. You just happen to be this race. We wouldn't like you if you were white, well, whatever color you are. Those four women are crummy. It's not because of their race, though. They're really despicable people. I mean, you don't want to watch them. Okay. There they were. That was light news. 